This fight, I'm going to be cool, calm, and calculated. I'm going to take you out, man. It's going to be a first-round KO. Mark my words. Octagon is a place to showcase skills. But some cocky fighters think that talking trash and showing off will help them secure victory. But what happens when the actual fight begins? Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier are both professional martial artists whose rivalry needs no introduction. For years, they have come face to face many times. So who is the more notorious and powerful, McGregor or Poirier? Join us as we show the most intense fights between McGregor and Poirier. You won't believe what you are about to witness. In UFC history, the first face-off between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier stands out. Let's go back to September 27, 2014, when these two strong fighters met on the main card of UFC 178. The event marked the early stages of a legendary rivalry between the two fighters. The battleground for this significant showdown was the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, a well-known venue for UFC events. The excitement was evident as the fighters entered the octagon, setting the stage for a clash that would have a lasting impact on the sport. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. You can touch gloves at this time if you wish. Conor McGregor displayed fluidity and alertness that hinted at his future dominance. From the opening bell of the three-round featherweight contest, McGregor demonstrated a superior understanding of movement and strategy. On the opposite side of the octagon, Dustin Poirier grappled with the challenge of understanding McGregor's unconventional style. Wow! This brief yet intense encounter between McGregor and Poirier initiated a rivalry that continued to fascinate fans and shape the UFC landscape. The stories of their first fight will always be shared, highlighting the skill, strategy, and explosiveness both fighters bring to the octagon. September 27, 2014, was the day that marked the rivalry between the two fighters. Everyone expected that Poirier should have learned something from this fight, and he must be prepared to defend himself in the subsequent fight. So what happens in the next fight? Let's see if he is prepared to avenge. This fight will leave you wanting for more. Dustin Poirier had an intense face-off with Conor McGregor at UFC 257. The fight played out as Poirier strategically used a lot of calf kicks. Oh Dustin Poirier! Dustin Poirier's fight against Conor McGregor at UFC 264 wasn't a usual battle. But because McGregor suddenly injured his leg, the fight took an unexpected turn. How did all this happen? Why did McGregor become so defenseless? Let's break it down. The match kicked off with McGregor trying leg kicks, a bit like what went wrong in their previous meeting. Yet, Poirier stayed cool, countering with his leg kicks. A well-placed kick momentarily froze McGregor, giving Poirier the chance to follow up with a right hand. Oh, they're exchanging him there. Oh! Poirier switched conventional there. Yep. In that combination and landed that right hand. Connor's really making him think about that right leg. He's slamming. Hey, look at that. that I leg, thought this that might right play leg. into the game, the game, Joe. Connor went conventional there a little bit. Look at that. That kills that outside leg kick by Poirier. And Connor is very leg kick heavy early on. He did this against Diaz. Remember in the Diaz third yes. fight? Oh. Oh. The battle continued with Poirier executing a takedown, followed by a brief guillotine attempt by McGregor. Poirier's toughness shone through as he shifted to ground and pound, delivering a series of harsh elbows and punches. McGregor, despite getting back on his feet, faced another combination from Poirier. We saw, we saw Bisping cut GSP like that from the box. And now Poirier is throwing massive elbows on his own. Big Poirier, big ones. Big elbows by Dustin. My goodness, this pace is crazy. Crazy. And this favors Dustin. Yes, it does, because the grappling and the wrestling, and Dustin's big and heavy on top of Connor. 
things took a turn for the worst when McGregor suffered a severe leg break while attempting a right hand. Poirier capitalized on the opportunity, landing additional strikes until the round's end. Referee Herb Dean promptly stopped the fight, leaving the pro-McGregor crowd dissatisfied. Despite the unfortunate ending, McGregor continued verbally attacking Poirier and his wife after the fight. If we had to take this outside with him, it's all outside. We don't give a bollocks. Your wife is in me DMs, hey baby. Hit me back on my chat and let alone. You looking bitch, you little hoe. I'm sure you'll be back and I'm sure you're gonna want Dustin again and I'm sure he'll oblige you. While the fight concluded abruptly, the hostility between the two fighters continued, which set the stage for another potential showdown. Poirier's win was overshadowed by McGregor breaking his left fibula and tibia with a weird step back. Even though McGregor insisted the fight wasn't over, Poirier had already shown dominance before the injury led to stopping the fight. Do you think McGregor and Dustin will again come face to face in the ring? Tell us in the comments below. If you want to watch a more intense showdown just click the video on the screen.